Hey everybody, how you doing today? Ramajet here. We're going to talk about, as a man, think of the final chapter, serenity. You know, that serenity is a beautiful thing that each individual should strive to become and know about themselves at some point in time in their life. A lot of people say, oh, someone with serenity, they might be one with the earth, they might have better understanding of themselves, therefore they seem peaceful. You can do this in absolutely any job or lifestyle you would prefer that's going to allow you to make the money that you need to fill those desires. That's what it's here about. That's what this book's about. For you to understand if it's with me and my network, or if it's your business, or maybe you're trying to start a business and you want to check out this information, it's about finding what you enjoy and the fact that if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when you wake up in the morning, you are thankful to wake up because you are doing something that strives forward to make you happy in your life. You know, and once you get to that point of serenity and you're thankful and you're giving off that, you understand that all negative energies, all reactions are created by thought, the seeds that are planted. So then you understand those who may hold the horn down for 10 seconds in traffic, oh, they're upset because of something else. Someone, a boss who may give you some extra work because someone above him is pressing down on his back and he needs to release it towards someone else. Once you're able to see these things and separate yourself from it so you understand the cause and effect of the reaction of it instead of the fact of getting mad before you realize what's causing it, you can have a certain level of serenity. Unfortunately, in my personal experience, those who have come to a level of serenity a lot of times may be a little bit closer to death because they understand the difference between what really matters in life. You see what I'm saying? And so they go, oh, I know they're mad. Oh, that doesn't bother me because I know what's important. I'm trying to get things across. I'm trying to do better things. This is when you can program your subconscious to help you elevate yourself to this level. It's funny. Mankind is an animal. The highest level of animal, but still an animal. Animal like, a, for example, your dog. They say a man's best friend. A dog could be, in this analogy, your subconscious. If you train it properly, if you put this proper software in it, if you teach it what it's going to do, when to, uh, say, get the mail when the mail comes, but you tell it to go get the mail. But at some point in time, that dog is going to know the mail comes, and it's going to go get it for you and make your life easier because it strives to do exactly what you tell it. But if you tell your mind bad thoughts or improper programming, what's going to happen? The dog is going to pee on the floor, and it's going to be counterproductive for the clean white rugs that you have. So let's program your mind in a positive manner and it will help you get to the level of serenity. And then you'll understand because you can program it so well that it will start to do things to allow you to get to that point. So when you're in traffic or when you're talking to someone who's just so mad and you've separated yourself that you understand it's not about you. It's not about that. So you don't get upset. So you don't allow those who are not in the same level of frequency to even bother you, which will allow you to continue forward and push yourself and give that vibration off. And that's really what it's about. So regardless of what you're doing in this business, with me, joining my team, or in your personal desires, whatever they may be, you can still rise to the level of a philosopher or a great painter or musical musician. All those things are able to ascend even if you're a baker. And you can come to the point that give you the best cakes because you have a certain vibe and energy that you give off to others and they wonder why people stand in line around the corner for your cakes. That's all can end relationships. So I want you to be able to rise yourself above it, separate yourself from all negative emotions, and know they are seeded by triggers of thought. And once you can get to that point, every day will become just a little bit more brighter. I hope you enjoyed this final chapter of uh, As a Man Think of James Allen. I'm Ron Majette, founding member of BIM. We'll talk about that more as that comes up because it's about to launch in a couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed this chapter. I definitely hope that you come back and see other things with me and give me your thoughts on the bottom, and we can all grow together as a team. Take care. Peace.